Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in a cattle there is an allele called dwarf which in the heterozygotes produce cows with legs which are shorter than normal. Recessive allele is lethal, the homozygous dwarf cows spontaneously abort early or stillborn. If a dwarf bull is made to 400 dwarf cows, what phenotypic ratio do you expect among the living offspring? How we are going to solve this problem? Take a look. So we know that bull is heterozygous. So let's say capital A and small a. And this bull is mated to 400 also dwarf cows. That means that these cows also have to be heterozygous. So capital A, small a. If cows are going to be normal, the genotype then would be capital A, capital A. But because cows are also dwarf, we know that all of them are heterozygous. Take a look what we are going to get. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. And this genotype, which is homozygous recessive, we are not going to see because it's going to result in early self-abortion or still born. So actually what we are going to see is just these three genotypes and two phenotypes. One phenotype would be normal and two would be abnormal. So ratio is going to be one normal, two, two abnormal, which we call dwarf. So one, which is going to be capital A, capital A to two, which is going to be capital A, small a. And we are not going to see this homozygous recessive genotype at all. So we would see only two phenotypes, normal size and dwarf. It is actually it doesn't matter how many cows would get pregnant. We can say that we expect that two sorts of the progeny are going to be dwarf. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.